discover the hidden equity in a probate reverse mortgage home. You may have seen another video of ours where we talk about not walking away from a house in probate just because there's a reverse mortgage because of ways to extract hidden equity on that. Well, we get into how that's done next. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brendan Moore, Realtor and Certified Probate and Trust Specialist by the California Association of Realtors. And I'm Bill Heyman. I'm a licensed California professional fiduciary as well as a licensed California real estate broker and a registered and bonded legal document assistant specializing in probate. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel. Want your probate done for no fee? Well, every day we help people save thousands of dollars and eliminate headaches with our one-of-a-kind probate administration service and real estate listing combo in California. So please reach out to us with any questions about that or any of your probate real estate needs. Comment on this video, text us, call us because we can help you. So discovering the hidden equity in a home that's going through probate and there's a reverse mortgage on it where we've talked about it before, a lot of times people wanna just walk away from it because they think there's no way there's any equity and this is gonna cost uh, us money just to go through probate. So we're just gonna walk away from it. Right. right? That's not always the case, and there are ways to, to extract an equity. So a lot of this depends on hiring the right service, right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, and to our knowledge, you know, we like to do things on our channel just generally about probate, probate real estate here in California, but this particular service is very unique. Very and much so. To our knowledge, we're the only team that really does it. I, I have looked and tried to find other services that do what we do, but I, I can't find them in California. I don't know of any. And there's reasons for that, but a lot of it is, is our is our structure that we don't charge a fee for the probate, right. or you don't charge right. a fee for the, for the probate in, yeah. in these situations. So the very first step is basically the family of the deceit, the person who passed away who was the homeowner, that they have to agree to have an administrator appointed. And right. in this particular case, when we're talking about something where there's negotiations with a reverse mortgage lender, it's best for our service if they appoint you as the administrator, it licensed is. professional fiduciary. Correct. Yeah, right. yeah. It, it is usually best if, if the family agrees to let me go ahead and be appointed as the administrator. It just makes working and doing all the negotiations that I have to do, it, it just makes it easier. Now, it, the family doesn't have to let me be appointed as the administrator. It certainly can be a family member, but it's just going to put, you know, an, an extra an extra step in the process. And plus, you know, the family member is not going to know all the ins and outs and the, and the negotiations that need to be done with the lender and possibly the trustee. So, yeah. And, and also, there's no extra cost to the family for me being the administrator. There's, there's no downside to it. Essentially what I've seen, because I've worked with you a lot and you've you know, probated thousands of states, that it just streamlines the process. Absolutely. Um, it gives you authority to talk right. with the lender as well. Absolutely. So, and then the next step would be once I'm appointed, that's when I have, like you said, the authority, I can actually communicate with the lender and get all the information that's needed. And that's actually when I can start the negotiation process. And oftentimes with these probate homes, I would say, and you tell me if I'm wrong, I'd say maybe 70, 80% of them are not in the best shape. Yeah, that's, that's the case. You know, yeah. There's a lot of deferred maintenance. And frankly, and I don't mean any offense, but you know, when you have someone who's elderly, who's lived in a home for a long time, especially as they get older, often they don't have the time, energy, and possibly money to upkeep the home, maintain it as well as it should be. So what I do in the negotiation process is I, I get the reverse mortgage lender. I ask them to do what's called an inside appraisal. So get them inside the house so they can actually see all that deferred maintenance and they can see that, hey, you know, this home is not worth what it looks like it may be worth just looking from the outside. So that's key to getting that appraisal done because then we have a new number to work with. And then the next step in the process is I negotiate with the lender to try to get what's called a short pay situation. And that's where we get the lender to agree that, okay, look, we'll take this amount for what's due on the loan and anything over that goes back to the estate. And, th and that's, that's generally how we work it. We get the home on the market. Hopefully we are able to sell the home for more than the short pay amount. 
and whatever that difference is comes back to the estate. And then once the court signs the final probate order at the end of probate, that money goes back to the family. That's how we do it. Now, it sounds a lot easier than it is. It takes a huge amount of time and effort to negotiate these things. You can't just walk in and get it done split. It, it takes a lot of time and effort to do that. Yeah, and you've done a lot of these, and I, I've seen it where you've brought back quite a sum for an estate. Yeah, there, there, there have been times when you know, 100000 dollars we've been able to bring back. It's not every time. I would say at least 50% of the time we're able to do that. So, I mean, that's some great information, Bill. And just to reiterate, as far as your service, which you do all over California, everywhere, wherever you're at in California, Bill does a service that's very, very unique. There is no no fee. It costs them, costs them nothing to do it. And in case people are real wondering how there is no fee, it's simply because in these situations, we get the real estate listing and that's how we're paid. We're paid through the real estate listing. Yeah. So that's all great information, Bill. And, and just to reiterate, I mean, you do this all over the state from mm -hmm. the very northernmost to southernmost everywhere in, in California. So please uh, reach out to us. Our information is on this channel in the about section and call, text, email, whatever it is. I actually love taking calls and we'll get you in touch with, with Bill. So if you have any more questions, please reach out to us. And then please watch this next video if you're cur curious about the basics of probate real estate and the steps involved in California. We have a video link next. Very short video. It's called the California Real Estate Sales Process Explained in five minutes. And it is linked next. It's going to appear right above Bill's head.